I'm making the list, I'm checking it twice, gonna find out what's worth the price. <laughs> These are shit I'm reviewing this year. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be sharing with you guys all the fragrances that I want to review this month or in the next couple months or so. Now as I'm sharing these fragrances, keep in mind the fragrances that you want me to review. If you don't find it on this list or in this video, please leave it down in the comment section below because I am actively looking for new fragrances to test out and to review for you guys and it would be nice to see what you guys want me to review. So if you have any fragrances at the end of this video, leave it down in the comment section below. Alright, let's begin with fragrances that I already own that I want to review. The first one being Jerome Parfum. Now this one is highly, highly requested on my channel. A lot of you guys actually want to see this and for good reason. This is a really, really good fragrance and it's also a rare fragrance in the USA. Very expensive as well. It is a really good fragrance. Also, it's the most strongest designer fragrance alive. I will be reviewing this one. Realistically though, the time that this review will come out is probably going to be towards the end of December, maybe a little bit after Christmas, around New Year's time. It's when you will see a review of this one, so stay tuned for that. The next one that I own is Tear de Hermes. And this one, uh, this one is not my bottle. I bought this from a friend. This one is also highly requested on my channel for some reason. I know a lot of you guys already know I don't really like Hermes. And this is probably my one of my least favorite scent in the designer realm. But you guys want to see me review it anyway. I will, however, give this a really, really fair review. If this performs well, I'll say it performs good. If this gets compliments, I'll try to say so. What I'm trying to say is that I'll give this a fair fair review despite how I personally feel about the scent all right now this review is not high up on my review list you see this in maybe January or so because there are a lot of fragrances that I want to review first this one since it's not my most favorite it's gonna be a little later next one that I own is Prada Lome Absolute you guys saw my video of this yesterday this one is one that I do quite enjoy and I will be reviewing this one in the next week or next two weeks or so at the latest because I do want to throw the video out first there's no one who reviewed this fragrance yet and again like I said I do quite enjoy the scent so stay tuned for this one the next one that I own is Yves Saint Laurent YEDP this one will be a review after Prada Lome Absolute this one will come Again, like DHP, maybe near uh, New Year's time, or maybe a little bit past New Year's time. This one so far, I have worn it today, and I do quite like it, but I have to wear this on a nights out, because it is praised to be a really nice nights out scent. So I'm gonna be wearing this fragrance out to the bar a few times to let you guys know how good this fragrance actually is. I'm gonna give it a really, really fair wearing. And again, the review of this one will come out maybe in the beginning of January. Moving on the list, we have the Armani Code A-List and Armani Code Colonia. Now, Armani Code A-List is one that has not been reviewed a lot yet. I see maybe three or four videos out for Armani Code A-List, but judging by what a lot of other people think of this fragrance, it's not the highest one on my list to review because a lot of people said that it smells very similar to the original. I do love the original a lot, but this one, the A-List, people have been saying that it smells like an older version of uh, original code, like a more gentlemanly, mature version of the original code. And to me, that doesn't sound too appealing because I do like the code a lot. I'm not really actively looking for a mature scent, so it is on my review list because it is one of the newer fragrances, but it's not that high up there. Now, Code Colonia, on the other hand, is one that uh, I've tried before. It's not a new fragrance, but I do want to review it because Jeremy actually put it in his most versatile list. And I want to make sure for you guys that it is a good fragrance. Because the last time I tried this fragrance was last year in November. And I remember smelling it. It smells just like clean clothes. Like clean linen, clean clothes, fresh. It was quite boring to begin with. And the performance is not that great. So, so for Jeremy to put it in the top 10 list, it must have something that grabbed him. So I'm going to be purchasing that fragrance and I'll review it for you guys sometimes again in January or maybe beginning of February. Next one, we have Uomo and Uomo Signature by Salvatore Ferragamo. Now, Uomo was released in 2016. Now, the first time I tried a fragrance, I wasn't really interested in it, but I am curious now that it's been two years if my tastes have changed and if the fragrance is still relevant in today's market because if the smell is still relevant today and it still smells really good today, it will be a really great purchase because last I checked, the price is only $32 for 100 ml so if it's still a relevant fragrance it might be a really great one for you guys to pick up if you guys don't own that yet that's why it's on my review list the next one is a newer one from Salvatore Ferragamo and that's Uomo Signature I will be reviewing that one as soon as I can find a legit bottle now on eBay right now all the fragrances are coming from Russian Federation 
and I don't trust that. It's, it's coming internationally from Russia, and Russia is known to make a lot of clones, so I don't trust uh, that market at all. I'm gonna wait for some US seller to have a legit bottle, and I'll be grabbing that one for review. I have not watched any review for Womo Signature yet, so I can't tell you guys what it smells like. And I don't. I actually don't want to watch any review of it, just so that I can have a clear brain going into the fragrance. Next one on the list, I have Stronger With You. Now, this one have gotten a bit of hype recently. It got hype when it was released, and now it's, it's kind of resurfacing now that it's hitting winter time, the weather is getting cooler. Stronger With You is a fragrance that I already ordered. I actually just ordered it today. It should be here in the next five or six days or so. I'm gonna give it a week's wearing, and this one is one that I will be reviewing in the beginning of January. So as soon as it gets here, I'm gonna wear it right away and give out the review as soon as possible. The next one on the list, I have Prada Luna Rosa Black. Now this one was on Ashton's from Jensen's number one in his winter fragrance list. So I'm very, very intrigued to review this one. The bottles right now are very expensive for this fragrance. I'm gonna wait for the price to drop just a little bit more because I, I don't feel like paying $70 for 50 ml bottle right now. That that's to me is just too much. So I'm gonna wait for the price to drop a little bit, purchase the bottle and I'll give you guys a review of that one. Coming again in maybe January, so stay tuned for that. The next one is Hugo Boss Descent Private Accord. Now this one is one that I ordered today alongside Stronger With You. So uh, you will see a review of this one coming very, very soon. As soon as it gets here, I'll wear it. And I'll do the review close to when I do the review for Stronger With You. So really, really stay tuned for that. I heard it's a really great fragrance. It has like a chocolatey smell and I'm a gourmand lover. So I'm really looking forward to test that one out. And I think I only have two more on this list. The first one is Guerlain L'Homme Ideal EDP. And this one is one that I've been wanting to have for a long, 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 long time time now but i can never find a good price here in the u.s for it it's always so expensive but that one i have smelled in canada when i visited cascade scents and i really really love the smell and i want to review it as soon as possible before winter time ends so maybe sometime in january as well last one on this list i have versace oud noir now versace oud noir is one that has been said to smell like oud wood by Tom Ford and if it does smell like oud wood from Tom Ford I might want to pick up a bottle because I don't want to wear oud wood all the time because it is an expensive fragrance and I don't want to run out of it. I do really like oud wood. I do wear a lot of it but I'm just afraid of it running out. So if Versace oud noir smells anything similar to oud wood that might be a good replacement for me and if it is a good replacement for me of course I'll tell you guys all about that. This one however is not super high up on my list of purchases or super high up on my list of review so expect this review to come maybe in february or so okay my bad guys i have one more and this last one is essence de parfum by john paul gautier my friend bought this one and i smelled it at his house and i was like this is great this is just great i don't know why it wasn't more hype to begin with but uh, yeah, if you guys have not tried Essence de Parfum, it's a great fragrance. That one is on my review list for sure, coming in again in February, because that one is not really a winter fragrance, it's more of a spring fragrance, so it is more appropriate for me to review it in the springtime. So Essence de Parfum by John Paul Gaultier, the last one on this list. All right guys, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching, and if you did not see any fragrances that you want me to review on this list or in this video, leave it down in the comment section below. Give me some ideas to review. And if a fragrance gets mentioned enough, I'll pick up the bottle and review it for you guys, okay? With that being said, have an easy life and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and bye. Yo, guys, I'm editing this video right now. As you can see here, that is my editing rig. I added on there. My stuff's on here, that's just a quick tidbit. I forgot to mention a few fragrances in the video, so I'm gonna mention them now. I want to also review the whole Dunhill Icon line, the original Dunhill Icon Elite, the gold bottle, all of that line. I know that's also heavily requested on my channel. Another line that I want to review is the Prada Luna Rosa line. That one, I've, I've dismissed a lot of them in the past, but I really want to grab all of them and give them a really, really um, fair wearing. So I'm gonna look online for the next couple weeks to see if I can find a good deal on any of those two fragrance line Dunhill and the Luna Rosa line if you guys have any deals on these fragrances yourself if you guys have any fragrances that are listed in this video at all that you guys want to sell for me at a reasonable price please let me know down in the comment section below or better yet email me if you have those fragrances and you want to sell them please email me I'll most likely buy them if they are at a reasonable price so yeah guys with that said I guess bye for real peace